Have you ever wanted to use your air conditioning when you're either boondocking and on generator power, or using an inverter, or plugged into a 15 amp circuit? Today I'm going to show you how to install a micro air easy start soft start on your trailer's air conditioner. Here is the micro air easy start soft start that I'm going to be installing today. Take it out of the box here. Here's the unit. Four wires that I'm going to need to connect and I'm going to follow the instructions from the microair website that are specific to my air conditioning air conditioning unit. This is not a difficult process to do, but you definitely want to be comfortable with electrical wiring before starting this project. If not, I would consult a professional. And of course, another challenge with this installation is that every air conditioner is a little bit different depending on the year, the make, the model. So, although the instructions are quite detailed by Microair, you might still run into some small unforeseens and you need to be prepared for that. Luckily, there's a lot of good, helpful information on the Microair website. So the first thing that you need to do as part of the installation is assess what kind of air conditioner is on your trailer. I have a Dometic, and this is the Penguin 2 model. And you'll notice if you go on the Microair website, they actually have specific instructions for just about every common model of RV air conditioner. So that's really nice, and the instructions are specific to that particular model. So now that we know which model we're working with, I'm gonna have to remove this cover from the air conditioner so that we can access the wiring. All right, so now we're gonna slide the cover off and see what we're working with. Next, we're going to take the cover off the electrical box so that we can expose the various capacitors and wiring, which we're going to need to tie into for the new soft start. So inside here, you can see the various capacitors that we're going to be working with. So the next thing you're going to have to do is find the mounting location for the easy start. So they do say that you don't want to have it upside down like that, but you can have it on its side. I am limited in terms of locations where I can put it in here. So the manual shows it installed right here for my particular model. I do have space over here but I don't want to inhibit the airflow from the fan. So I think I'm going to go with an installation right here. It's a bit of a dip, so I'm going to put some foam behind there just for a bit of extra stability. Try a dry fit to start. Actually, I think it's going to fit quite nicely into there. It's not inhibiting anything. And we've still got a long enough wire to get in and around here and over to the control box on the other side. All right, so I'm gonna have to run the wiring from this side where the easy start is gonna sit, through this compartment, and over to my wiring box on the other side. So there's some gray putty here that seals the hole where the wire is coming from the compressor. So I'm gonna take that putty off, run the wiring through that hole, run it around the same path, tie wrap it onto there, and then run it through the back of the electrical box. So I'm now gonna take this and feed it through the existing hole. A bit of a tight fit here, but if we just go slow and steady, we can feed one wire through at a time. So you can see now 
wires through on the other side. We're just going to finish feeding it through and we'll just follow the same path as the other wiring. So I'm now going to apply some 3M tape to the back of the soft start and then we will secure that in place. All right, so the soft start is permanently affixed. And now don't forget to put the putty back into the hole where your wiring came through from earlier. Hopefully you saved that. All right, so we're over on the other side. Here's our wiring box here, and we've got to bring our wires through this existing hole. Suppose we could drill a new hole but there's not a lot of space behind this box and I don't want to puncture something. So I think we're not going to try to get it through this grommet. Might need to actually pull that grommet off and get a bigger one. And luckily that just splits apart in half. So it'll make it easier to put it back on and put it back through the hole afterwards. So I'm happy to see that. All right, so with a little bit of patience, I was able to feed those wires through. Let's get it through the rest of the way here. And there we go. Perfect. All right, so before we start with the wiring, let's take a second to talk about safety. Number one, all the power to your trailer should be shut off at this point. That's really important. Um, this could be a very dangerous job if not. So make sure all the power is off. So the first thing that we're going to do is we are going to remove the PTC from right here. You may not have one of these in your trailer. They're not in all air conditioning units, but I have one in mine. And we're also going to take the wiring from the start capacitor because that's going to get replaced by our easy start. The installation manual does say that you can just pull out the start capacitor completely. I'm actually going to leave it in there. Um, that way, if for some reason down the road I'm not using the easy start anymore, or let's say I sell my trailer and I want to rewire it back to the original, it'll still be available there. So I'll leave that in, but I will disconnect the wiring. All right. So the wiring is removed from my start capacitor and I've also taken out the PTC and now I can start some of my wiring. So the first thing that we're going to do is take the white wire from the easy start and we are going to connect it to the same terminal as the rest of the white wires on our run capacitor. So I just freed up one of those terminal connections on the back. So that's where I'll connect this one. Next, we are going to take the orange wire and we're going to connect it to the red wire group terminal on our run capacitor. Now, the easy start that I got from Microware already had these uh, terminal connectors connected but the installation manual actually tells you to buy those separately and crimp them onto your wire so just be aware of that you may not actually have these end connectors when you order your easy start so just make sure you have some of those on hand all right so next we're gonna follow the white wire that came from the compressor over on the other side we're gonna follow that through around and that's the white wire that we need to take off the run capacitor. So I've followed it very closely and there is more than one white wire coming. So you've got to make sure you get the right wire. So I followed it and this is the one. So I'm going to pull that one off the terminal like that. And we're going to cut the end off and we are going to splice that one with the brown wire. Yep. All right, so I've cut the end off the white wire and I'm going to strip that back. I've also taken the blue wire and cut that. I'm going to need to strip both of those ends. 
The brown wire is going to connect with the white wire. The black wire is going to connect with the two blue wires. There is what it looks like, all wired up. Brown to white. Blue, blue, and black together. We've got the orange on one of the run capacitor terminals. We've got the white on the other one with the rest of the whites. So we're going to close this up now. All right, so we're going to tie wrap the soft start wiring to the compressor wiring just to keep it out of the way. Alright, so now that the installation is just about complete, before I put the cap back on the air conditioner, we are going to cycle it through the learning process. And in order to do that, it's really important that you follow the instructions provided by MicroAir. We're going to have to cycle this on and off five times. And you want to do that on a power supply that would typically be able to power your air conditioner. So you're not going to do this on a 15 amp circuit or a small generator. In fact, MicroAir advises that if at all possible, you don't use a generator for this part of the process. So we're actually gonna take our RV to a friend's house who has a 30 amp outlet, and we are going to do our test process there. All right, so we're about to do the learning process, which means that we have to cycle the air conditioner on and off five times. And that learning process will set up the easy start to work on a regular 15 amp circuit. So right now we're, uh, we're tied into a friend's house. We're on a 30 amp circuit and we're just going to simply turn on the air conditioning, let the compressor cycle on, turn it off again. We'll do that five times and then it should be trained. All right, so this is a pretty simple process. You're really just turning on and off your air conditioning. You do have to uh, wait about three minutes for it to start back up after you turn it off, and that's uh, just an aspect of the soft start. Um, so it's just a matter of being patient and uh, doing it the five times that's necessary, and then you're good to go. The other great thing about this particular model of Soft Start is that it has Bluetooth capabilities that allows you to connect it to a smartphone app. The app works with iPhone and Androids and provides a number of features. You can see real-time information about what the power draw is and what the peak power draw was on Start. It also provides diagnostic and technical support functionality, which even allows you to submit information directly to MicroAir for technical support help. If you ever need to move the Easy Start to a new AC unit, you can also use the app to easily teach the soft starter about the new AC. It's important to note that not all models currently have the Bluetooth capability, so make sure you check this before ordering. I can't stress enough, when you're doing this installation, MicroAir has some really, really great instructions on their website. They are step by step. You want to make sure you follow those. So don't just watch this video. Go and check out the instructions on their website. These were great, easy to follow. They will help you out immensely. And as usual, if you have any questions that I didn't answer in this video, feel free to leave a comment below and I'll do my best to answer them. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. It really does help us out. And don't forget to come back tomorrow to see where we go next.